with a look at Loungefly. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of A Look at Loungefly. I'm Ilana, and I am giving you a closer look at our Pokemon Rainbow Ombre collection. This is a super rad collection because not only does it have some of your favorite Pokemon characters from the early generation of Pokemon, but they're also done in an all over print that is this super cool rainbow style. So sort of from far away, it's just a rainbow bag. And then up close, it's super cool Pokemon. It's got some of the classics like Pikachu and Raichu and some of my favorites like Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfree, Jigglypuff, I could go on and on and on. It comes in a mini backpack form that has black piping and uh, silver hardware. The interior lining also has a bunch of rainbow Pokeballs, so that's super cool. Then you've got the crossbody style. This is a little more of your everyday purse. This is sort of my favorite because you can wear it as a crossbody or as a satchel with the top handles. Rounding out the whole collection, you have a wallet style. Inside, it has all the rainbow Pokeballs as well. Perfect for holding all of your cards. It's a great must-have gift for any Pokemon fan. So if you're looking to evolve your style, or level up your look, or even become a fashion master, head to loungefly.com, because these are all available now. See you next time on A Look at Loungefly. Funko Fun TV. Let's play Funko Games. Hello gamers and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Play Funko Games. I'm Adam and today we're off to Neverland with our brand new edition of Funkoverse, Disney's Peter Pan. In this set, you're gonna find Peter and Captain Hook battling it out on either the Jolly Roger or Mermaid Lagoon. If you are new to Funkoverse, Head over to funko.com forward slash Funkoverse for some great how to play videos to get you started. As with all of our Funkoverse sets, there are four included scenarios that you can choose to play. There are two for each side of the double-sided game board. This set has territory, control, leaders, and my personal favorite, flags. First, let's take a close look at what is new with Peter Pan. Peter Pan has three special abilities and his static ability. His You Can Fly ability lets Peter shift off the cooldown track and place him on a point marker or point marker setup square anywhere on the board. His swooping charge attack lets him move two spaces and then do a basic challenge. Happy Little Thoughts lets you place Peter on one of the cooldown track or shift him off your cooldown track. And he can actually do this even while he's knocked out. Codfish on a Hook lets him do a challenge three and then a challenge two. Both targets must be standing and he can choose the same target twice. And we have Tinkerbell. She is naturally distracting, so rivals adjacent to her only have one defense. She can move up to two squares and she can assist the paired character if they are adjacent. Then we have Captain Hook himself. He is a man of the long tom, which means at the beginning of the game, he gets to place the cannon token outside of the edge of the game board. He also has the fire status card, which means he is able to fire a cannonball across the board, doing a challenge to every rival in its way. We also have the new sword item. When a character is carrying the sword and attacks an adjacent rival, you may re-roll one of your shield symbols, hoping for an attack or a critical. We also have these gorgeous glitter green point tokens. They are some of the most beautiful we have ever done. And for all of you pop collectors out there, we have you covered. The Chase Edition for Peter Pan is a flocked Peter, complete with a fuzzy hat and tunic. And that is Funkoverse Peter Pan. I'm Adam, and until next time, think some happy thoughts and let's play.